Rush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in Long Life. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the Afternoon Express Kitchen. Now getting your daily dose of goodness has now become that much easier. Thanks to Clover Crush, Carrot and Orange Juice. Made with the perfect blend of 100% pure fruit and vegetable juice, Clover Crush, Carrot and Orange is enriched with vitamin A, C and E and is the perfect refreshment to accompany any meal. Today it's the hero ingredient in our simple zesty sorbet that will satisfy those sweet tooth cravings and will definitely Definitely give you that vitamin C kick you've been looking for. I want that kung fu fighting, and I love the fact that this delivers. Exactly, and that's what doctor just said. Mm. You must increase our vitamin C, and that's what we're going to do now. Is you get it in extra with your carrot crush. Yeah, I right. love that. Following yeah. doctor's orders. Yeah. <laughs> so we're making a sorbet, a delicious sorbet, and sorbet is like a palate cleanser. Mm. But we're going to serve it today with a hot pud on the other side that I'm also going to make. So we have the little hot, a little cold. Yes, little hot, little cold. Just like you, just like us, just like our personality here. Something for everyone, something sweet and something savoury. But always keeping in mind the carrot and the orange. Carrot, carrot and, and the, the orange. orange, yeah. So to make the sorbet, you only you need a syrup. So we've added uh, a cup of water and we're going to add a cup of sugar. Okay. And you just cook that till it forms like a thickish syrup, a syrup. Mm. Okay, and it's been done, voila. I love it, voila. voila. Although sometimes it's I feel done. like this voila is not helping <laughs> me. I need to see you. I'm the type yes. of person that needs to sit with you like this, going step by step through everything. But Anal has, a, has done a good job with detailing everything on the website, yes. so you do not miss out on anything anyway. Because it has to cook for five minutes to get about this consistency. Beautiful. And when it's this consistency, you put it in the fridge to cool down, and then you take it out and then we're going to add our flavour. Okay. And we're going to add a bit of more vitamin C mm. with some lemon juice. Like Dr. the doc just said to us, we need for our immune and a bit of citrus, the zest. Helping. But, mm. Yeah, but you can add any type of citrus inside here just to give it a bit of flavour because this is all about flavour now. Okay, yes. And then we're going to add our crush. Beautiful. Okay, so you have lemon there as your citrus, but essentially I can go with the orange, I can go with the grapefruit if I want. You can go with anything. The flavor's up to you. Yes. Okay. And Polly, do you know the difference between a sorbet and ice cream? I don't. I actually uh, don't. No. Uh-uh. Is it just a dessert? <laughs> no. <laughs> so sorbet is made from a syrup, as you can see. Mm. It's a sugar syrup. Mm. But ice cream is made from a creme anglaise, like a custard mm. that's made with cream and eggs. I love so that. Okay, so that's more dairy-based. Yeah. And this one is just more fresh, icy. Yeah. So we're going to add this. You put this in a little pan. And then you pop it in your freezer. Mm. And you just stir it every half an hour. Okay. Put your alarm on your phone every half an hour. You store stir, you stir. it. To form like small little crystals, as you can see on those little sorbets there. Stunning. Yes. So we wait until it becomes this consistency and then we're good to go. Scoop it out, yeah. Scoop it out and then it's... Perfect to eat. But now we're going to make something to go with this. Oh, I like that. I also like the fact yes. that you've thought about the kitties here when yes. you put this ice cream cone. I think I'd actually make this an ice lolly. Yeah. Why not? You can make an ice lolly with, with that and you can even put it into like ice cubes into your, and you can add it into your cool drink. Oh, you know, I love gosh, that. Yeah, water. Versatility in the kitchen. We're taking a sorbet, we're flipping it on yeah. its head and we're making it a, de a delicious treat. And now we're making a mug cake. What's a mug cake now? A mug cake is a cake in a mug. Oh, well, uh, it's that simple. Okay, I was going too deep with it. So what do we need here? We need egg? We need egg. I'm going to tell you now, because my husband was snoring last night at about 10 o'clock and he woke me up. And I had, this, I had this craving for something sweet, so I decided to add carrots, uh -huh. add flour, uh -huh. and I made this quickly. Girl, you're a better woman than me. <laughs> I want to kick that gentleman out the room and said, sir, you know there's a couch downstairs. You can definitely snore your heart's content downstairs. But you're a loving woman. You've decided to feed yourself and make yourself happy instead. Okay. So we've got an egg, a bit of milk, a tablespoon of milk, a tablespoon of oil. And now we're just going to add self-raising flour, four tablespoons of that. So what if you don't have self-raising flour? Because yes. I know I don't stock it. I'm not much, much of a baker myself. Yes. So if you've got oh, normal flour mm -hmm. and you've got baking powder, it's about for a cup of flour, you add a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. So for this, you'll add like a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, so there are options. So some in sugar okay. in here. Very unhealthy, but 
When you've got a sweet craving, sister, you have to get that sugar in. And not everyone is trying to be thin, cute, and snatch tiny. We're just trying to enjoy our lives. Exactly. So please. Especially during lockdown. Mm, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so, so I also just want to find out, you put in some carrots there. Yeah. At home, I have got a ton of carrots. I think that they're on special right now. Yeah. I've got a whole kg. Yeah. There's just me. So is this something good to use when you've got, you know, carrots that aren't that fresh, something a little bit older? Absolutely. You can use that for that. If they're not so crispy anymore, just grate them and put them in here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to put some lemon zest in here. Mm. And this is perfect with a sorbet. That sorbet with this is just going to be divine because both, you've got the flavors of the orange mm. and the carrot in both. Always complement yeah. each other. Either. So, Polly, all you do is you okay. add this, and it took me two, not even a minute to make. Yeah. You pat, add it in your mug. Put a bit of spray and cook in your mug if you want to, but you don't have to. And you add it in an only one minute, 30 seconds in the microwave on high. That is brilliant. And you've got that your is fix. Quick. That is exactly what I need. I love the fact yeah, that we keep doubling up on the flavors, but knowing Balesa, I'll have the sorbet that has some clover crush in it. And yeah. then after that, I'll still have um, your little cup, mug in a cup. And then after that, I'll still down it <laughs> with some clover crush again. <laughs> doubling up on the clover crush every time. Thank you so much, Anil. Sure. At least you'll have to get the bit of vitamin C in. And that That's is all that counts, Doctor. You said it, so don't blame me for overdosing. Now, that's a refreshing treat, offering a sweet taste and a boost of goodness from a whole family to enjoy. Now get this recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Crush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in long life. Made with love by Clover.